your team struggle to keep your boat flat out of attacks? We're here with two of the top crews in all of New Zealand to show you how it's done. Kia ora. Kia ora. Brother. Hola, atletas. I'm Connor from Coco Coaching and I'm here to help you improve your sailing skills to help you become a better sailor. Whether it be tactics, boat handling, boat speed, or anything really about sailboat racing, I've got over a decade of elite level coaching experience and I'm here to share all the latest tips, tricks, and coaching advice with you. Now let's get right into it. You're both crews, right? Yeah. And what are we demonstrating today, boys? Well, today we've got a bit of breeze, so we'll be um, demonstrating how to watch a wide attack. Let's get right to it. So, what is a wired wire attack? An attack where the crew comes smoothly and efficiently through the boat, bringing the jib with them, hitting the wire immediately, and trimming it on quickly and correctly to get the most out of your acceleration. So breaking down some of those key features of it, as we come into the tack, the boat has to be perfectly flat or even slightly heeled to leeward. This is going to help the crew come in off the wire in a smooth and efficient way. If we break down the steps of it, some people like to crack the jib before or after they actually come in off the wire. But really what we're talking about today is a bit more simple. It's the idea that you have to stay on the wire to keep the boat flat as the boat rounds up into the tack. So what's absolutely critical is that you unhook from the wire while you're still out over the side of the boat. To do this, you have to have a lot of upper body strength and be able to be confident holding yourself by the puck from dropping in the water. This way, all you have to do is reach up, grab the puck, flick your hips, and your hook should pop right out of your harness, allowing you to move freer through the boat. The key aspect is you grab the wire and disconnect your hook before you come in. It's absolutely paramount that the skipper and crew have good coordination and good communication going into the tack. It's also easier if the skipper is talented at keeping the boat flat and is able to find a flat spot in the water not in waves to be able to tack the boat. This will help the crew slide in through the side of the boat and get right through to the other side. As you come out the other side of the tack, make sure you grab the wire with your front arm. Once in the middle of the boat, grab the new jib sheet right at the base of the cleat. As you transfer your weight through the boat in one motion, this is a critical point in the tack because we don't want to stop with our bodily momentum. If we carry our momentum through the boat, we can achieve a perfect jib trim as we swing out onto the new trapeze wire. As you do this, you'll be able to swing out over the side of the boat and bring the jib sheet with you. Once out, you can take the rotation of your shoulders and achieve maximum jib trim right as the boat starts accelerating. It's critical that the driver drives to the appropriate angle for exiting the tack. Hola amigos. We're gonna have awesome videos just like this one coming out on at least a weekly basis. So don't miss out on your chance to learn. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or want to learn something specific about your youth or junior class, and we'll be sure to get to it ASAP.
As always, don't forget to sail fast and send it.